And turning now to our continuing coverage of the Kevin Olson trial, the former UNC Charlotte football player back in front of a judge today in an emotional first day of testimony in his sexual assault case, his ex-girlfriend and accuser took the stand. Now, she explained to jurors what happened the night she says Olson raped her back in February of 2017. NBC Charlotte's Ariel Placencia is live in Uptown now. And Ariel, I was talking to you earlier about this trial. It's emotional in there. It's hard to listen to. And what have we learned today? Yeah, Rachel, more graphic details were released today. Defense attorney George Loring picking up exactly where he left off yesterday, cross-examining the ex-girlfriend. And he really focused a lot on the timeline, the series of events leading up to that night in question. After a night out in Uptown in February of 2017, court documents and investigators show the victim reported she received a text message that apparently set Kevin Olson off. He became angry and the assault happened shortly after. This morning, attorney Lauren read phone records saying the text that allegedly angered Olson came in at 3.11 a.m. and the couple wasn't inside the bedroom until about 3.55 a.m. After Olson was arrested, Lauren asked the victim why she sent a text message to a friend asking if Olson quote, hated her. I was still very confused. I was still very upset. It was not easy walking away from him. That was probably one of the hardest things I've had to do. So, of course, I'm still going to be worried about him. I'm still going to be upset. It was very confusing. Now, the redirect of the ex-girlfriend has already wrapped up. The state called its next witness, a good friend of the ex-girlfriend who was also dating one of Kevin Olson's roommates. Care from her coming up tonight at 5 o'clock right here on NBC Charlotte. Live at the Mecklenburg County Courthouse, I'm Ariel Placencia. Rachel, I'll send it back to you. And we know her voice is being altered to protect her privacy. A lot going into that and a lot of efforts being made to protect this woman's privacy. So, Ariel, thank you so much for that report.